Have you ever been driving at night and found the halos of light from oncoming headlights distracting you from the road? Or been walking down the street in the evening and had the glare off a streetlight impair your vision? Or had your vision affected by lights in a stadium, a storefront, or even a bicycle light? At this time of year, Canadians will be spending more and more time living their lives in the dark. And for many who require corrective lenses, this also means increased sensitivity to these common but treatable occurrences. Two leading Canadian eye care professional associations are teaming up to raise awareness of this important issue. Any light coming at you will be a problem. You, you get into a situation where the road is wet. Well, now you've got that light reflecting off the road and coming at your eyes too. So not only you might have the halo off these lights, but you also have distracting flare and glare coming at you. It's a real problem. It's very distracting when you're trying to drive. These bursts of light and challenges we experience with vision in low light conditions are the result of a phenomenon known to eye care professionals as spherical aberration. Spherical aberration is a phenomenon that actually happens in low light conditions. It's due to the size of your pupil. When your pupil is small, in bright light conditions, light comes directly into your eye in a straight line and focuses into the eye where it should. In the dark, your pupil enlarges, so light comes directly into the eye but also comes in at different angles. And when that happens, the light coming into the eye is not focused properly, therefore causing um, halos and glare and difficulty seeing in the dark. Everybody actually can experience problems with spherical aberration or halos or glare. It's actually quite common and can happen at any age. Fortunately, there are measures you can take to reduce the impact of halos and glare, and these solutions can be discussed with your eye care professional. If you are experiencing symptoms of glares or halos, the solution to fix it could actually be quite simple. So it is important for you to actually let your eye care professional know that you are experiencing halos and glare. With that, they may be able to recommend changes in your glasses or changes in your contact lenses that can actually help you reduce these symptoms. The Canadian Association of Optometrists and Opticians Association of Canada, in association with Bausch & Lomb, are urging you to be aware and drive away the glare. For more information, to take a night vision quiz, and to locate your nearest eye care professional, visit drivewaytheglare.ca.